An early morning fire destroyed a historic restaurant in the city of Emily. The Emily Fire Department received a call around 2.45 in the morning that the bungalow tap house was up in flames. A Chelsea Brown spoke with locals on the damage that has turned this landmark of Emily into ashes. The smoke and the flames were rolling and there was, it, you feel, felt so helpless. It was, um, I compared it to um, watching a family friend die while you hold their hand and that's really what this is to this community. After closing down the restaurant around 930 last night, many are still in disbelief that their place of work, their go-to restaurant and second home only stands in pieces. We all left in really good spirits last night. We just felt good and ready for the big, you know, the next couple weekends coming up and just it was a great feeling last night. And then to hear that this morning, it was sad. Kind of disbelief, you know, you don't, you know what I mean? You don't believe it. I had the sheriff knocking on my door at 3.30 in the morning. The fire broke out near the back dining area and required backup of about 40 firefighters that helped extinguish the blaze. We called uh, Crooked Lake Fire Department, 50 Lakes Fire Department, Cross Lake Fire Department, and we are here, and then later on we called Ideal over to help. The historic bungalow building was originally built in 1903. Spindler has been the owner for about 20 months and was in the process of remodeling. We just started doing things. We put new bathrooms in and uh, all new kitchen equipment and just uh, everyday repairs and this and that. To see his improvements go up in flames, he said it was heartbreaking. And the hundreds of years of memories inside this facility can never be replaced. And where are we going to go? We have 4th of July and we always go to the bungalow and then out on the lake. Or uh, we go to the bungalow and then we go you know, out hiking or it, the bungalow is always part of that. It's a big part. It's a big part for the community and it employed everybody and, you know, it's it's a loss. It's a loss for everybody. In Emily, Chelsea Brown, Lakeland News. Spindler said it was an unfortunate loss with the 4th of July and Emily days coming up. Two of their biggest and busiest weekends. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.